Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, Math 132, Calculus with Applications, Section 15.2, Problem 1. This is section 15.2, it's problem number one. We want to take the integral of x cubed plus 7 in parentheses to the eighth power times 3x squared dx. So this is a problem for the substitution method. It can be done without the substitution method, but without the substitution method, you would have to foil out eight sets of parentheses and the 3x squared dx on the end. Do a lot of foiling, put the 3x squared dx into the result, a lot of combining of like terms. It'd be a long involved process and your probability of making a KLS error just combining like terms or something would be pretty high. So this is very well suited for the substitution method. Again, it can be done without it with this big long complicated process, but um, substitution is way better. So step one for the substitution method is choose u. And of your common choices, you have stuff in parentheses, stuff in the denominator, uh, power of e, stuff under the root. The only thing that really fits of your four choices is the stuff that's in parentheses. So my value of u will be x cubed plus 7, because that's what's in the parentheses. That's step one, choose u. Step two, find du, the derivative of u. So du will be, the x cubed will make a 3x squared. The 3 comes down times the number in front, which is understood to be 1. 3 times 1 is 3, x, 1 less power, second power. The 7, since it has no x with it, its derivative is 0. And then at the end, you put dx for derivative with respect to x. So now we have u, we have du. Step three is rewrite the integral in terms of the new variable u. So the stuff in parentheses to the eighth power becomes u to the eighth power. And then what's left outside, the 3x squared dx, is exactly equal to du. So in terms of our new variable u, this is a very easy integral to solve. The integral of u to the eighth du. Well, the integral of u to the eighth is going to be 1 over 9 u to the ninth plus some constant. Right? When we take an integral, we take our exponent, and we do the number in front of the variable, which is understood to be 1, over the old exponent plus 1. So 8 plus 1, there's my 9. And the new exponent is the old exponent plus 1. So again, 8 plus 1, there's the 9. So that's the answer. But the problem is it's expressed in terms of the wrong variable. What we have to do is write it in terms of the original variable, x, which is pretty easy. Instead of u to the ninth, we'll put the x cubed plus 7 to the ninth. So don't forget, there's a 1 ninth in front. I'll keep it in front. Set up some parentheses inside the parentheses. x cubed plus 7, close the parentheses, ninth power. Don't forget, plus a constant. And now, in just about five lines, we have the exact same answer that we would have reached eventually if we did out a FOIL of eight sets of parentheses in a simplification. It would come out to this, and this is much less work.